Auckland Mayor's emergency recovery plan why private property owners could face penalties. Work continues on a fix for Coromandel Highway cut off by landslides and cold snap hits the country with even snow on the cards. Atamaria, I'm Shuri Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Wayne Brown is threatening to unleash regulatory powers against private landowners who fail to clear streams of obstructions. It comes as the Auckland Mayor prepares to launch an emergency recovery plan to help rebuild the city following January's devastating floods. Among the simple fixes he's proposing, property owners will have to clear watercourses running through their properties or face penalties. What those exact penalties would be is still being considered. The east coast of the Coromandel remains largely cut off from the rest of the country, with access in and out severely impacted by landslides. A fix for State Highway 25A will not be in place before Christmas, but engineers are drawing closer to a decision on the best path forward. Waka Kotahi says there's three options on the table. Reinstate the road using some form of retaining, a bridge option or a bypass. The Students' Association wants changes to the tertiary education system to prevent students being left with mounting debt. Student loan living costs have increased by more than $100 a week over the past six years. On Saturday, April 1st, that amount will rise by just over $20 to $302 a week. For students borrowing the maximum amount, that's more than $15,000 a year. President Alan Dixon says students shouldn't have to choose between studying and buying a house. What it comes down to is what looks like sustainable funding for this sector and what looks like sustainable funding for students. And that conversation is not really even had at all. Kiwis are in for a chilly autumn welcome as a cold snap with threats of snow and below freezing temperatures hits New Zealand. Met Service says the cold front is moving across the South Island from Monday and into Wednesday. As well as this, there'll be a sharp southerly change and strong winds along the east Eastern coastline. Met Service has a heavy snow watch in place for the Southern Lakes District between Queenstown and Alexandra. And Women's Refuge is backing Madama Davidson after controversial comments at the Auckland counter protest to Posey Parker. The Minister of Family and Sexual Violence Prevention said most violence is caused by white cis men, cis meaning the gender a person's born with. She's now clarified most violence is caused by men and inflicted on women, saying she was in shock after being hit by a motorbike when she spoke. Chief Executive Ange Jury says Davidson lives her work. She's probably the most passionate member of government about trying to shift things in the family and sexual violence sector and she's been doing a good job. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more stories and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tera. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.